Well, good morning, everyone. Happy New Year's Eve, and I hope you're all having a great holiday. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support, and to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. Well, today is the final day of 2022, so I thought for this video, I'll share with you my final silver purchase of this year. There's also been several requests from subscribers of the channel to see what I managed to stack in 2022, and on your screen, you can see all the silver bullions that I acquired over the last 12 months. This is really exciting because this is the first full stack video of the channel and I'll give you a brief overview of all the silvers that I purchased over the last 12 months after we have taken a look at my latest silver purchase. I'll also share with you the total ounces of silver that you can see on your screen at the end of this video so stay tuned to that if you'd like to find out. I do note that for this video, I've not included the collectible silver coins that I purchased over the last 12 months. Uh, those coins are for my collection and what you see on your screen here are for my silver stack. As usual, before we get into this, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Alright, I will start with my final silver purchase of this year. There are 8 ounces of silver in this tube and they are all Canadian 1 ounce silver coins. Most of the coins here came from William Ng Collection, my favorite coin store here in Singapore and Mr Ng would like to extend his thanks to the subscribers who have visited his store after watching my videos. So again, my thanks to those subscribers who have given their support to Mr William Ng. Alright, let me just go ahead and get the coins out from the tube. And here they are, the 8 ounces of silver that I recently purchased. In this stack of coins, there are several different designs, which I'll go through quickly at one at a time. I managed to acquire all these coins here at a price that was pretty close to a generic silver round, so that was a pretty good score. Uh, these coins were issued several years ago, and I don't see any milk spot on them, so that's uh, pretty great. We'll start with the first coin here. This is the Canadian Superman coin issued in 2016 and this coin has a vintage of 1 million. Next we have these three coins from the Canadian Predator series. This series ran from 2016 to 2019 and there were four different designs. This is the Lynx which was issued in 2017. And vintage for this coin was just 50,000. So it's a pretty awesome that I managed to get. Three of them. Mr. Ng also had this single coin from the Predator series. This is the Cougar, which was issued in 2016. I believe this is the first coin of the series, and mintage was also 50,000. As you can see, uh, the coin is in pristine condition. And finally, I also managed to get these three coins from a private sale here in Singapore. I paid the same price that were asked by Mr. Ng. And these coins here are from the Canadian Wildlife series, which ran from 2011 to 2013. There were six different designs for the series, and each design had a mintage of 1 million coin. Over here, we have the Procon Antelope from 2013. Next, uh, we have the Moose which was released in 2012. And finally here we have the Cougar, also issued in 2012. Uh, these coins have a tone a little bit along the edges, but again, I don't see any milk spot on them. And being uh, almost 10 years old and uh, you don't see any milk spots, on these coins, I don't believe the milk spots is gonna develop on them. So it was really great to be able to score uh, these uh, eight coins here at a price that was uh, really close to generic uh, silver coins uh, here in Singapore. And uh, all these coins here are in really great condition. All right, uh, let's move on now and take a look at all my silver purchases for this year. Here we have the four 10 ounce coins of the Queen's Bee series which I managed to score this year. Here I have the White Greyhound of Richmond. Next, we have the White Lion of Mortimer. Here we have the White Horse of Hanover. 
And finally, the coin that I purchased earlier this year is the Yellow Beaufort. Uh, these four coins here constitute uh, 40 ounces of silver. Next, we have these 20 Freedom Girls from the Golden State Mint Silver Bullet and Silver Shield series. Uh, these rounds were also purchased from Mr. William Ng. And I managed to get them at a really great deal. This tube here has 20 ounces of silver. Moving along, here are 15 Singapore Malayan rounds, which I purchased from Bullion Star of Singapore. And there are 15 ounces of silver in this tube. Next, we have my very beautiful Stonex coin bar, which I purchased from Bullion Exchanges in New York City. This is a 250 gram coin bar, which gives you a weight of just over 8 ounces of silver. Here is my biggest single day silver purchase for this year. This is the very beautiful Germania Mint 1 kilo silver bar, also from a Bullion Exchanges. And this bar in ounce has just over 32 ounces of silver. We'll move on now to the various coins and rounds that you see on your screens here. I'll start with these three a very collectible and highly desirable 2 ounces privateer rounds, which I managed to get in January of this year. And these three rounds constitute 6 ounces of silver. Next, we have these 6 Pirate Queens 1 ounce silver coins from the Royal Australian Mint, which I scored at the recently concluded Singapore International Coin Fair. I have 3 of the Mary Reed and 3 of the Jing Xie. So here we have 6 ounces of silver. Here are 3 additional coins from the Royal Australian Mint. These are the recently released Warata Flowers 1 ounce silver coins for the new Wildflowers of Australia series. These are very beautiful coins and I think they will make an excellent series to collect. And these 3 coins here constitute 3 ounces of silver. Here we have 2 ounces of silver from the Rwandan Luna series. This is the Tiger for this year 2022. And this coin was uh, released uh, really late last year and I only managed to purchase one uh, earlier this year. Uh, this is the recently released uh, Rabbit for next year 2023. And I got this coin uh, just a few months ago from the LPM store in Hong Kong. Here are 4 more rounds from LPM of Hong Kong. Uh, these are from the Comscore Mint and here we have the rounds for the Chi Wu Chong Wang and the Zixin series for 2021. Uh, these coins again were released uh, really late last year and I only managed to get them earlier this year. Over here we have the recently released uh, Chi Wu Chong Wang and the Zixin series for this year 2022 and this came uh, into my possession a couple of months ago. Moving along, uh, these are the only 3 Silver Britannias I have in my stack. These coins are for 2023 and they are the final Britannias to have the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II. Here are my 4 very beautiful Athenian Isles which I featured in a recent video. And these 4 bullion coins here represent the only silver coins, uh, silver bullion coins that I purchased from eBay uh, this year. I have a couple more coins from the LPM store of Hong Kong. Here is the first release of the Dog series for the island country of Fiji. Next, we have this very beautiful uh, latest release of the Seahorse series for the island country of Barbados. This is my recent purchase here in Singapore. I got this coin uh, last week. And this is the latest issue of the Chinese Panda series for 2023. This is a beautiful uh, 30 grams silver coin. And I'll be doing a video review about this coin in an upcoming video. I also added these two 1 tenth ounce of Walking Liberty Silver Rounds for my stack. Uh, these rounds were given to me for free by Bullion Star of Singapore as part of their promotional sales. And finally, I have all these coins here from the Perth Mint. Uh, there are 10 coins here and all these coins were issued for 2022 and 2023. 
the first coin here is the very beautiful uh, Phoenix. Next, we have the third issue of the Quokka series. Here we have the second issue of the Wombat series. And here are my recently picked up the Kookaburra coins for 2023. I purchased uh, three of them. Here is the Tiger coin with the Dragon Privy, which was released earlier this year. And finally, we have the recently released Lunar Year of the Rabbit coins for 2023. These are one ounce silver coins, and I added three ounces to my collection. Well, with that, we come to the end of the review. And for 2022, I managed to stack 165 ounces of silver. This is a little bit more than what I used to stack in the previous year. So this year has been a really good year for me in terms of silver stacking. I hope to continue on with my silver stacking journey for next year. And I do really hope that silver prices will not go up too high, especially for those of us who wish to add more weight to their silver stack. Uh, do share with us in your comment section below if you have been stacking silver for this year 2022 and what are your goals and silver stacking expectations for next year 2023. Well with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at my last silver purchase of this year as well as all the silver bullions that I've accumulated for 2022. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. To everybody who has uh, been watching and supporting my channel, I'd just like to wish you a very happy and prosperous new year. Y'all please take care, be safe and have a nice day.